Hello everyone, it's Lindsay, and today I have a process video for you guys in my little mixed media journal. I created this over on an Instagram Live, so it is saved to my Instagram IGTV. I will try to put a link down below. I don't know about linking over to Instagram from here, but I will try. And I show how I quickly put together this little DIY notebook and we played with a whole variety of products and hung out and answered questions, all kinds of goodness. So you can go check that out. But this is what I'm going to be creating in as I work through the kits from Open Journey. So I'm just diving into Seeds of Hope. This is one of the newest devotional kits. I do have an unboxing of this kit. I will link it down below for you so you can check it out. It comes in physical and digital. So whatever works for you. And I've already got mine wet, but we're going to dive right in. And I am creating in here instead of my Bible for now. And that's just gives me some more room to get creative, journal out lots of thoughts, get messy, and I can study in my Bible and then come here and do the art part. And that just seems to be working for me. So I will be creating on these mixed media pages and I am jumping in right with the first verse that Ingrid has listed in this devotional, which is Romans 1 20. It says, for since the creation of the world, God's invisible qualities, his eternal power and divine nature have been clearly seen being understood from his workmanship so that men are without excuse. And this is referring to general revelation. And so as we dive into Seeds of Hope, just this, you know, I love that she includes this verse because there are little seeds of pointing to God everywhere, even just seeds themselves. When you look at just the miracle of how things grow and nature and the things that are out there, that's all part of general re revelation, being able to see God in the universe, nature, stars, all of that, just see his hand in all of creation. Um, and so there's no excuse for not believing in him. You can see that, you know, the world was created by him. So I'm going to be journaling out a little prayer about that in this notebook. So I've already gone ahead and picked out a few different things. Um, this idea of seeing little seeds of Jesus, seeds of God in nature is something I have been experiencing as I've been getting out and about and walking in the evenings, you know, the pandemic shut down the gym. So I've been trying to get outside a little bit more. And I love these little snapshot photos that Ingrid included in the kit. And so I just picked a few, uh, just some pretty, you know, scenes, some nature scenes. And so I want those to be my focal point. We're going to do some mixed media in the background. I'm going to leave myself plenty of room to journal. I've already gone ahead and typed out the verse and we're going to cut this apart and just attach it because I'm going to get messy with mediums and paints and things like that. Uh, it's a little bit more difficult to write directly on the page. So we're going to be adding tons of things, but because it is in a coil bound uh, notebook here, I can get chunky, fluffy, add dimension and all kinds of things. So let me go ahead and put you guys on fast forward and we will put this layout together. And as I'm walking through and putting it together, we'll kind of talk about um, the verse and some of those other things. Okay, so we're going to try this. I'm outside. We're talking about nature, talking about general revelation. So what better place to do the voiceover than outside? Also, my kids are home. My husband's sleeping. It's a little chaotic in my house, so we'll give this a go. Uh, on screen here, I put some nonstick craft mats behind the pages. This just protects my surface and gives me a workplace for paints and things like that. So I pulled out a variety of distress paints and I am just using a rare tool to put that paint down onto the paper. So I'm using speckled egg, shabby shutters, old paper. Um, I'll bring in a little bit of frayed burlap uh, in a little bit here. And you can see I'm just, I don't know, just briaring on paint. This does not have to be perfect. This was like the fastest, easiest way to do a background. This video overall, I think took less than 30 minutes to do this layout. Uh, and it looks like, you know, it took a lot of time in the finished product. So I'm not even cleaning off my rare in between. I'm just going in, going all in. I'll do some stamping. I'll pull in a uh, ink tense pencil to do some art marks, really nothing too crazy. So uh, I wanted a place to kind of journal a prayer and uh, just think about this verse a little bit because it is something that I haven't thought about in a while, this general revelation versus um, special revelation. And so this verse is addressing general revelation, which is meaning that, you know, God can be seen, like I said at the beginning, God can be seen in anything and everything around us in just nature and creation. And um, I know for me, one of the most joyful things for me to do is just get outside and experience nature. And there's just something so nourishing to my soul about just taking in all that's around me and just amazed that God 
created every different kind of tree and every different rock and every different bug and every different, I, it's just can get a little overwhelming, but also it just shows how amazingly, awesomely huge he is and just all that he touches. And, and so the other type of revelation is special revelation and special revelation refers to things like the Bible, miracles, Jesus Christ himself. So God revealing himself through, um, miraculous things. So the Bible being, you know, it was, it was divinely brought about God, um, you know, gave that revelation to the men who wrote the Bible. Um, and they wrote down what God gave them to write down. And that is a special revelation. And so when we talk about general revelation, I think that's such a useful tool for evangelism. And I think it's something that we sometimes forget that, you know, we're, it is important to be based in, Bible passages and verses and biblical truths, but, um, to just start out a conversation with somebody and be like, okay, how do you explain all of this around us? <laughs> like, I know, you know, the big bang theory. Okay. How do you explain all the in- intricacies of how a seed grows and babies can be born and just, you know, uh, seashells and the intricate, you know, formations they have and just all these things. And when you really start looking at it, you're just like, wow, there has to be a creator, My dad has this great illustration. He says, you know, for those who are in the big bang theory, it's like saying you're putting all of the parts that make up a car into a giant box, all the parts, just all, just throw them all into a giant box. And this idea that you can just shake, 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 shake the box. And at some point, an entirely functioning car is going to drive out of that box. No, (laughs) there needs to be a creator. Um, And so we can see the fingerprint of that creator in everything around us. And so when you sit down to evangelize to somebody, just putting those little seeds into them. Hey, how do you explain this in nature? What do you think about this? There had to be a creator. Okay, well, let me tell you about this creator. So go into into the Bible, the special revelation, and then you can go to the gospel and lead them through the gospel and bring them to Christ. But what a useful tool general revelation can be for just evangelism. And it's something that I really, really enjoy, um, especially during this whole pandemic time is just getting outside and seeing God. I don't know about you, but sitting in my uh, office space and being on social media and media, and it can be a little bit overwhelming sometimes. And so I need to just get out, get some air and just experience God a little bit. And so that's what I wanted to just journal a little bit of a prayer that, you know, I hope my prayer, my prayer is that I hope that people will come to ask questions about God a little bit, just through nature, just through creation. Um, And maybe it would just spark a little interest in them to ask more questions and to develop a more intimate relationship with him and um, know him more and just start by looking at his creation. I mean, Genesis 1-1, <laughs> right in the beginning, we talk about general revelation, God uh, creating the world and the stars and the universe and all of those things. And so definitely um, dig into this first, study it, go back into Revela- or into Genesis, read through um, the first you know, couple of chapters of Genesis um, as you look at how things are created. It's kind of amazing. So on screen here, I, like I said, didn't do anything super crazy. I did do a little bit of stamping with some frayed burlap uh, distress paint. And then I just layered on those different die cuts and things. It really did not take that much product outside of what is included in the devotional kit itself. Uh, I used the clear stickers from the kit, the die cuts from the stick, or from the kit, uh, that bird was a clear sticker, but I knew it would kind of get muddied with the background that I had. So I stuck it on some white cardstock and then just fussy cut that out. And mixed media is super fun because you can just experiment with layering, stamping and scribbly marks and, um, you know, paint and splatters and nothing has to be perfect. It can be wonky and crooked and things hanging off and cut off and pieces of things. And, uh, that paint technique that I did on the background is a great way to use up your leftover paints. You're done with the project. You have some paint left over on your surface. Instead of just wiping it up and throw it away, grab a little notebook like this and a brayer and just brayer on that paint and have a base layer on your pages so that whenever you want to sit down, maybe all you're doing is writing out prayers, but then it just has a fun paint filled textured background behind it. So it's so just a really fun technique for using um, your paints and your supplies. 
So like I said, I went ahead and cut apart this verse um, into little pieces here that I'm piecing together so that it fits on the page. Uh, I wanted the verse um, address to kind of pop out a little bit more. So I stuck down this piece of washi tape. It ended up getting mostly covered. Um, but that's part of the process with mixed media too. Sometimes you, you know, stick a lot down and it just gets covered up and that's okay. It's just part of the process. The whole process for me is my time of meditation and prayer and study and reflection on the verse. And so I'm okay with you know, taking a little bit of extra time to create something that gets covered up because, um, you know, sometimes I'll be watching a movie or listening to music or something, but most oftentimes I have it silent and I am just praying and meditating while I work on a page like this. So here I left myself a good amount of room. Um, working on mixed media pieces, you do just have to be mindful of the pens that you use. It's going to chew up through pens, so just keep that in mind. Um, I'm using a combination of a Tombow Feud calligraphy pen and then a Slick Writer pen from scrapbook.com. But before I write down my journaling, I, of course, got to go in with some splatters. For those of you who mentioned in my IGTV live um, that I... Forgot. I didn't get Lindsay splatters into the front of this notebook, um, but I definitely got them onto here. You can see the ginormous mess that it creates, but I'm okay with that. I just used some uh, black soot uh, distress paint for that and wrote out my prayer journaling there. And I can always pop in a little tip in with some study notes about that verse if I wanted to, some commentary notes, something like that. I can just insert right into the coil binding. So that is going to be it for the project today. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, be sure to leave those down below. Check out the description box for every link that you could possibly need. Those are affiliate links. So just heads up on that. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed. And until next time, thank you so much. Bye-bye.